So you want to be able to list out dates that you have in a data set from and to dates and also if there's no date showing because it's currently in the present. Well, I'm going to show you how to do that in Power BI. So let's jump over to my Power BI desktop. So if you want to follow along, I have the data set in the description below. So once you've got that downloaded, we can just go over to get data. I'm going to use the text CSV load in. And then once we have that pop up, we can see the data in all its formatting. And we have the numbers down the side for indexing. We have teams, we have the manager, we have the from and the two days. And as mentioned, we also have where it says present. So then we can add in what the current date is to keep listing out the dates every time we refresh the data. So for now, we have that data. We just want to click on transform data. And then once we loaded that in, we can see everything apart from the number for the indexing has been formatted as text. So we've got team manager from and to as text. And that's because of how the formatting is here. Now we can change this here, but what we want to do first is be able to pick out where it says present to be able to show as an actual current date. Because at the moment, if we try to list this out, because we don't actually have a date, we won't be able to do this. So we need to create another column that's going to be able to tell us what today's date is. And every time you refresh it and you keep adding and adding as long as that person is still part of your data set and is still active. So the first thing we want to do is add in our new column and then we just want to call this current and then we want to create an if function that basically goes if it's present or blank depending on how your data set is whatever that is we want to be able to convert that into the current date and then if it's not we then want it to show the rest here so if two equals present or and this is just in case in this case equals null so pull up any blanks and then convert it to today's date we'll change that to then and then we want to do date time local now there it is and then else we want it to be this so two so basically it's going if two equals present or null then change it to today's date and then else it will pick up all the other ones so if we do it okay we can now see we have a date time stamp in there because it's date time local but we can just convert that and if we just rename this just so we know the steps we've added a new column so call it that and then give it its name for what we've actually called the column and as we've got change type here and we need to change these again here, we don't want to create any more steps. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to move this over here. So then we can convert all these dates over here to So if we go change type date and then we do replace current that will update. And then we no longer need this column. So we can just remove this one. And we now have where it said present is now giving you today's date, which is the 4th of July. So now we have that set up. Now we can do the listing out of the date. So what we want to do is just call this managed, managed dates. There we go. And then within this, we need to do our curly bracket. And then we want to type in number from, there we go. That's what we want. And then in an open bracket, we then want to put our first date in here. So whatever first date you're working with, in this case, it's from. We add from, then close bracket. And then we want to create it. So then it's going to point to what the next one is. And then it keep pulling out the list. So that's why we put in two full stops. And then we type in number from again. And this time in open brackets, we want to add current because that's where we're pointing to. And then we want to do a close curly bracket. And then that will give us our final formula that will then give us a list down here called manage dates. If we click OK, we can see we have our list here. And then if I clicked on this list and then pulled this up, you'll see it's listing out all dates that we've got here. And at the moment, they are showing as number because they're not formatted, but we'll get to that. So for now, let's just expand all to new rows. So all you do is click on those two arrows pointing out and then go expand to new rows. And then suddenly we have a list of all dates. We now need to convert that to an actual date format. So if we go change type and then go date, we now have our dates here and as we can see first date from is the date here and then the next date and then the next date and if we scroll all the way down the last date should be today's date which is the 4th of July and then we come all the way to the bottom and there you go the 4th of July and if we actually use one 
here that's actually a bit smaller. So Freddie Lundberg, we can see the dates here are the 29th of November 2019, which is the start there. And we know it ends on 22nd of December 2019. If we come all the way down to there, we can see the 22nd of December 2019. So now if we want to have a look at how many managers are current and how long they've been in, if we do sort descending and then if we do from sort descending as well, we can now see all the managers from when they started to their current date for all the latest ones. And what this is showing you, because in this data set, it's showing you all teams that have ever been in the Premier League ever since it started in 1992. Of those, all those managers who are now currently in those teams, we've seen Reading have got a new manager, Southampton got a new manager, Chelsea have got a new manager, Bournemouth have got a new manager, Tottenham, Cardiff and Blackpool, I think. I think that was the end of the season. So all managers who have come in at the end of the season, and we can see down here all the different ones. And then if we come down, we can see Mikel Arteta, and then that's it because if you look down here manage date when it hits the next day so basically yesterday that's where it starts again and what this is showing you is Jurgen Klopp out of all the football clubs who have ever been in the premiership he's the longest standing manager currently and then followed by Pep and then Mark Robbins at Coventry. I mean, it's quite interesting actually because it doesn't feel that long ago since he joined, but it shows here that it's been like almost, well, it's been, well, yeah, almost eight years. And he's now, out of all football clubs that have been in the Premiership, is the most long standing running manager. And that kind of shows you how quick turnaround you get these days in football with managers. So you can have a good play around with this. This technique I actually learned and did when I was dealing with actual HR data. And then wanted to be able to figure out sort of like sick leaves, holidays and things like that. Being able to list out and then actually count them and assign them depending on the periods. Because the problem I had is if people were taking off a period over what would be a cutoff time of a month, you can apply it with the from date because then the to date would be out and everything like that. So be able to actually align what's correct. It was good to be able to list out the dates and then be able to get a proper count of dates as well to be able to assign to the correct months what the actual days were where people have taken holiday and this technique worked extremely well and then i've applied it again here because what i'm going to be working on and i'll show in some later videos is i wanted to be able to map which manager managed on a particular match in that time so then i can actually just do a merge on the basis of what the team name is and the managed date that will then match when the match day happened and the team and then therefore you can list out the manager who was actually managing that football team at the time so i hope you found this video useful and if you did please give a like and subscribe and if you want to carry on your analytical journey check out these videos over here and as always until next time